Good morning, Lyseth Leopards. It's been a little while since I've done a video, and today I just want to talk about self care as we get ready to head into our April vacation. Also, um, just keeping in mind that we have to be flexible thinkers because I'm sure lots of us and our families had different plans for what our April vacation was going to look like this year. I know for me, I had to cancel a big international trip that I was really excited about. Um, but coming to terms with the fact that that's actually what's best for me and my family right now during this time um, has made it a little bit easier to adjust and know that we'll do it again later, uh, just not right now. And that's always a hard answer, but wanting to stay positive about that. So our April vacation, um, my goal is to really focus on unplugging from all the technology that we've needed to support online teaching and online learning and um, really to spend some high grade quality time nurturing both myself and my relationship with um, friends and family. And so that's gonna look a little different as well, but I'm gonna particularly be focused on my relationship with my son. And Raphael is presently playing on some sort of playground equipment over there. Um, so we're just trying to find quiet moments where we can get outside and make smart choices about where we go and what we do. Um, for us, that looks like we've been doing a bunch of fishing and we've been trying to get out in um, the nicer weather and go and be by the water. That's stuff that we know fills our cup. And self-care um, also looks like on nights where we're really tired, going to bed early, trying to make really healthy choices with food. We got a bunch of nice fruit and vegetables um, from the market. And if you're not really big on going to the market right now, there are lucky for us, there are some um, stores that do to-go pick up right now for groceries. So you can do Hannaford to-go and pick up some nice fruits and vegetables. Things that when you ingest them, they make you feel better about yourself. They are stimulating for your brain and um, all the good vitamins and minerals that we need to feel healthy and accomplished in our day. So I'm gonna challenge all of you leopards to work with your, to work with your family about what what the healthy self-care plan looks like for you over your flexible April vacation. Does that look like getting out for extra bike rides? Does that look like carving out some extra snuggle time? Does that look like maybe having a good project that you feel good, like rearranging your room or working in the garden beds? Um, things that will help you feel full recharged and ready to go for the last stretch. When we get back from April break, we'll have five weeks rest left of the regular school year. And we're gonna need to settle in and get our work done and show our teachers how we're ready for the next grade level that we're going to. For some of us, that's first grade. Some of us, it's third grade. Some of us, it might be sixth grade. So wherever you fit into that, um, you know, work with your family over the next couple of days to design a nice plan where you can unplug recharge, feel really good and accomplished, connected, close to, loved, valued, important, and most of all, rested. Um, that's really what these breaks are for. And I just want you guys to know how much we all love and miss you. And we are so excited to, um, you know, get back to school in the fall, hopefully. And I hope you guys all have a lovely vacation. And I can't wait to hear about all your adventures when we get back in um, April 26th, I believe it is. Don't quote me on that, though. But anyway, I hope you guys all have a great day. I'm going to go hang out with my little guy for a few and then finish up my work week. And I will be thinking of all of you over the vacation and looking forward to hearing all about your adventures. All right. Bye, guys.